How much do I love your favorite NFL team? What's going on, football fans? It's Mitch back here with another NFL tier list. And in this video, I finally answer the question, is Mitch really biased? Because some people think I'm super biased when it comes to certain teams. But then there's others that think I'm really unbiased and I honestly can't win. So I'm finally gonna answer the question, how much do I actually like every NFL team? I saw this tier list done by another NFL YouTuber, Jackson Kruger Sports, I believe is his name. And I thought that was a great idea to settle the case, the question, how much does Mitch hate my favorite team? And I will give you my honest answer through this tier list. So if that sounds good, Gronk spike the like button and don't forget to subscribe if you're vibing with me and this type of content, man. It's coming out pretty much daily up to the 2024 NFL season. I rank everything. I discuss every team. If you are a diehard NFL fan, you will love the bottom line view. And if you want to take that next step into the BLV community, the Discord, absolutely free, where we discuss the NFL every single day. The link will be in the pinned comment at the top of the comment section for you guys to check out. I'm always in there. There's others that are always commenting on my videos that are always in there. And you get all the announcements for all my new content, including my Bleacher Report stuff and my BLV YouTube stuff. So make sure that you are in the Discord, man, especially for the upcoming 2024 NFL season where Sundays get really fun in there, okay? So... Provide your opinion of this list in the comment section below. Gronk spike the like button, subscribe, and join the Discord. Let's get to the list, man. Let's talk about how much I love or hate your favorite team. Let's go, man. Let's go. Let's share the screen, and let's talk about it. So, we have the tier list, which you're going to love, okay? So, we did it based on let's say, a relationship, okay? So we have, at the very bottom, go away. I hate you. I despise you. I don't want to see you anymore. I am done, okay? Annoying, which just means I don't really hate you, but I don't like you, and I'm not really your friend. Like, just go away. I don't want to see you. You're annoying. Like, you, you just don't give me the right vibe or energy I'm looking for. Then we have the friend zone, which is like, I don't love your team. I don't hate your team. It's kind of at an arm's distance, you know, but we're, we're okay. We're neutral, right? Like we're a friend. We might be working together or whatever. Short term, we're fine, okay? We've got the crush category, which means I really like an aspect of your favorite team. I'm really into something about your team and I'm excited maybe to watch you but I'm not exactly getting in a relationship. Then we have the I love you stage, which obviously is like, I really love this team. I love certain players on the team. I love the coach of the team. And man, I'm probably putting my whole like thought and prediction and, you know, just overall narrative of the season or whatever on the line especially in terms of my content. So if I talk about this team a lot and I'm hyping this team up a lot, then you're probably in the I love you category. And then the married category is only for one team and one team only, which I hope you guys know which team that is. So we'll just begin the video with the one and only team that I am married to long-term. And that is of course the New England Patriots. The New England Patriots have been my team since day one, and they will remain my team. There are some people that think that I will somehow, some way, change my team, or that I like another team more than the Patriots. Now, in recent seasons, it may appear that way, because obviously, Tom Brady left, Belichick now has been fired, this is a whole new regime, a whole new era of Patriot football. They're no longer the top dog. They're no longer the team that everybody hates. They're no longer the team that's on every single primetime game. They're no longer the team in every single Super Bowl. They're no longer the 
culture significant team, the, the team that is dictating the NFL. But I still love them non nonetheless. I'm with them long term. I've been with them through thick and thin, through the wins, through the losses, through the playoff runs, through the injuries, through the, the bad, you know, gates, deflate gate, spy gate. I've been with them through everything and I'm sticking with them, man, long term. Hopefully, hopefully one day. I don't expect a ton more Super Bowls from this franchise as they've already provided me with six. But if we could ever get one more, that would be phenomenal, okay? So the Patriots are my married team, of course. So let's just go in order with the rest of the teams. And if you want to play along in the comment section below, absolutely do so. So the Saints are up next. The Saints, I will say, when I had that era of, you know, really being in kind of with the side bay of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and Tom Brady, I have to say I did not like the Saints quite a bit. I would almost put them in the go away category for that era. But I would just say right now they're just annoying. I, I don't really like hate the Saints. I actually used to like the Saints quite a bit when I was growing up. I used to really like the the early era Drew Brees, Reggie Bush, you know, post the whole like Sean Payton new era. And man, there was something about that Saints team and the Superdome and the energy of that team. And I think it was because of Hurricane Katrina, but I'm not exactly sure what maybe made this team so great for, for that period and so fun. For that period, it could have just been a lot of different things, right? Getting the chance to sign a Drew Brees, getting the chance to draft an electric player like Reggie Bush, falling into players like Marquise Colston, you know, and then obviously Sean Payton, the archetype of everything. And then it felt like once they kind of won their Super Bowl, I almost sort of jumped off the bandwagon as them being like my second or third favorite team outside of the Patriots. They were kind of like my NFC team for a period there when I was younger. But I will say that the, the Saints uh, right now, they're annoying. And the reason that is, is they feel like a team that's desperately holding on to some era that happened a long time ago that no longer exists. And they still have players that were featured in that era. Cameron Jordan, Demario Davis, Marshawn Lattimore, Alvin Kamara, Ryan Ramscheck, the great, you know, Saints football that consisted of like 2017 through 2020, the last final stage of Drew Brees. But I will say that Sean, Sean Payton being gone, that whole thing falling apart. Dennis Allen, I'm just not a huge fan of him as a head coach. I like his defense, don't love him as a head coach. The quarterback position, Derek Carr, Really, ever since he left the Raiders in that final season with the Raiders, he's just done nothing for me. Like, he has been just a guy that I just, just go away at this point. Like, he's just annoying. Like, I want to see something new. I want to see something fresh. He's not the same player he used to be. Elvin Kamara is not the same player he used to be. There's a lot of guys holding on with this team. They always seem to be trying to sign new veterans like Jadavian Clowney this, or not Jadavian Clowney, I should say, Chase Young this year, or like, uh, Tyron Matthew last year or like guys that Marcus May that they had, you know, two years ago, they, they just seem, and then you had Michael Thomas always injured. Like there's just something annoying about them. I just don't, they just annoying. It's like, can, can we get something new, some fresh, something different? Can we restart, hit the reset, hit the red button, bro? Like go away. Okay. Then we've got the Miami Dolphins. The Miami Dolphins, you guys certainly know that I'm not the biggest Miami Dolphins fan, but I also, you know, I have a few friends that are Dolphins fans, so it's kind of a weird place to, to be in terms of the Dolphins because they're in my division. They're always the team that would beat the Patriots more than any other team in the division, even when the Patriots were at their peak, because for whatever reason, New England, like the house of horrors was Miami. So that was always kind of annoying. I I like certain things about their team, though. I definitely like Tyreek Hill, Jalen Waddell from a football perspective. I enjoy watching their offense. They're fast. They're well-schemed. 
reason, rhyme, all that stuff towards their offense. Mike McDaniel is a good offensive coach. He is kind of annoying. So I think, honestly, I would put the Dolphins into, like, the annoying category where, like, they're in my division. I I think that certain members of their fan base don't like me very much because I don't like talk about Tua like he's Dan Marino. So I, I guess that's part of the reason. And I've kind of just been, uh, I guess, like, never all in on this team. And maybe that's why their fan base doesn't love me or support me the way that others do. And I think it's because I've just kind of always been right about them. Like they're a good team, but they're not a great team. And they always seem to kind of like fall apart at the end of the season. So I've been pretty accurate about this team. It's just that I've come across very negatively because of their expectations being so high, I think. But, you know, we've got guys like Odell, guys like John U or, you know, Moser. Defensively, I like Jalen Ramsey. I like Jalen Phillips. I like Javon Holland. I like a lot of the players on the team. It's more so like the overall feel and vibe of the team and in the in the history of them being in the division and them kind of always having these high expectations from the outside but not really being able to live up to it and just the 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 soft nature of their team. I just don't like a lot of the way that they build their team and in the in the way that they are kind of like grab attention i don't know what it is but it's hard to describe but i would i would describe them as annoying the baltimore ravens i will say that i've always been you know very respectful of the ravens i am definitely a fan of the ravens for many years i honestly even when they were beating the patriots i i liked the ravens i've always liked ray lewis i think part of that being you know like the Madden 05 was one of the first like video games I ever really played like a lot. And Ray Lewis was on that game that stems towards, you know, the defenses of that era, having a lot of love for Terrell Suggs and Ed Reed and Haloti Nata and even like Ray Rice on offense and watching Steve Smith there or Joe Flacco in the playoffs and their games against the Steelers. I really like that era of the Ravens more so than this one. I I was a huge Lamar guy. Like I love I loved Lamar coming out of college and to see his success in the NFL, you know, I felt like that was a big deal, you know, for credibility in terms of me saying what I said about him and him coming through on that, similar to Josh Allen. I, I have, like, an affinity for both of those players. But I also feel like the fan base as of late has not really accepted my take on the team. Uh, I was very high on the team last year, but, you know, like, I, for whatever reason this year, I'm not as high on the team, so obviously the fan base is not going to accept me in the same way, so it is what it is. But I like a lot of their players, Roquan Smith, um, I like Kyle Hamilton, but you know, I'm not a love in Kyle Hamilton. I like him. I think he's a great player. I think that Lamar is sweet. Mark Andrews, I've always been a fan of. Zay Flowers, I'm a huge fan of. So they added Derrick Henry. I would say honestly, with the Ravens, I'm probably in the friend zone right now because I think that there's some there's some friction between us here. I used to maybe have a crush on you, but like for whatever reason, you're not reciprocating or back and forth with the relationship. So I'm I'm probably in the friend zone with the Ravens right now. The Cincinnati Bengals are up next. I, I would say that for the Cincinnati Bengals, I'm really hyping up the Bengals right now, but I've never really been like a huge Bengals pusher, uh, except for this year. I've always like liked Joe Burrow. I th I thought he was going to be great coming into the draft out of LSU. I've loved Jamar Chase as a player, Joe Mixon as a player who's now left. Uh, I think that I really like what they've been the last couple of years. I like what they represent. I like when Cincinnati's a good team. You know, it does give me a bit of nostalgia of the Carson Palmer, Chad Johnson days, which I grew up on. On top of that, you know, I always felt like they were a good team, but they could never kind of reach that pinnacle, and I'm hopeful that they can do that now. So I look at Cincinnati, and, and this is a tough one. They're rather in the crusher, I love you. I think they're probably more of a crush, to be honest. Like, I think for now, like, they're a short-term love in a way. Like, I, I really, I'm really infatuated with them this year because I think they could do some special things and I love watching them play when everything comes together for them and everyone's healthy 
But I also understand that this is probably not going to be a team that I'm really long-term with. So to me, I think it's a crush. The Denver Broncos, uh, they, they just suck. Like, I honestly don't know if I think, if I hate the Broncos. Like, Sean Payton has been pretty irritating as of late. I, I'm not a huge Bo Nix guy, but all of a sudden, if Zach Wilson were to be playing for this team, I've always liked Zach Wilson. I, I you know, somewhat in a memeable way, but I, I still like him. Jared Stidham, I even like as a guy that was drafted by the Patriots. I don't love a lot of their players. None of them really stand out in a huge way. Uh, Pat Sertan is a great player, but I'm not like a huge like mark for him or anything. I like guys like Zach Allen and John Franklin Myers. I don't mind Cortland Sutton or anything like that. But, you know, none of their players, they, they don't give me a lot of like passion. Uh, I would say the Broncos are kind of like, they're kind of annoying I guess I, I don't really say I wouldn't say go away because they, they just suck like that's not really their fault but I would say they're annoying just because of like the energy and the vibe that Sean Payton has provided this team for the last year and a half like they're kind of irritating like just like why like why are you like calling out other coaches and I don't know they're they're boring to watch like there's a lot of things about them that are just kind of annoying so the New York Giants I, I was pretty high on the Giants a couple years ago. I, I would have said I, I had a crush on the Giants at that time. Um, I would say for the Giants, I, I just realized they're not a very good team. Uh, but I would say that, oof, I, I'm in the friend zone, I guess, with the Giants. Like, I, I like the coaching staff, and, and I want to see that coaching staff do well, but I also realize that they're very undermanned. I used to really like this team when they had Saquon and Odell in the early days of Saquon's career. I was really like into the Giants. The defense also like doesn't really do much for me outside of the front. So I don't know, you know, they're, they're just not very good. But and Daniel Jones, like Malik Neighbors, I guess is kind of fun. If they do start Drew Locke, though, all of a sudden I'm like, I, I'm, I'm, I'm in the crush category with the Giants. So I guess friend zone's good for now. But if somehow Drew Locke gets on the field, you guys know how I feel about Drew Locke. So and his dance moves instantly make everything better. So I, I'd probably put him in the crush category. Uh, the Minnesota Vikings. Hmm. I would probably put them in the crush category because... I really like their coaches. I love Brian Flores and I love uh, Kevin O'Connell. I think Sam Darnold is a guy that I've always wanted to do better than he's done. Like, I want him to play better than he's played. J.J. McCarthy was the quarterback for Michigan, right? So I, I like Michigan. Uh, I like Justin Jefferson a lot. I was a huge fan of him coming out. He's become arguably the best receiver in the sport. Aaron Jones kind of like leaving Green Bay and being counted out and having maybe a comeback year would be pretty fun. Jordan Addison, TJ Hawkinson, a lot of fun players on offense. I like, you know, some of the players on defense, like uh, the edge rusher with the long hair from Miami, Andrew Van Ginkle, couldn't find his name for some reason. Harrison Smith, I've always liked. Uh, the, you know, just just the coaching. I think the vibe. Uh, my friend Jack's also a fan of the Vikings. I've never really disliked the Vikings. So I, I would say that I, they're a crush for me. Uh, the Los Angeles Rams, they're a weird one because sometimes I really like the Rams, but sometimes I really don't like the Rams. And I think that's because I, I'm also a huge fan of a team in their division. So it kind of makes me almost like love and hate them at the same time. So the Rams are interesting. I, I think I'm probably friends with the Rams. Like, I realize what makes them so good. I, I love Stafford. I love McVay. But other aspects of the team, I, I kind of realize their shortcomings of their defense and... I, I like Cooper Cup. I, I like uh, Puka Nakua especially. I think Williams is a good back. The O-line's better this year. The D, the defense is just kind of what's kind of holding me up from really falling in love with this team. And McVay is a weird one because I really think he's a great coach, but at the same time, he's also kind of irritating. So there's like the good and the bad with Sean McVay where 
The guy is just a lot from a personality standpoint. He's very loud, but I, I, I still like them quite a bit. Then you've got the Tampa Bay Bucks, which I will always love the Tampa Bay Bucks. Uh, I, first of all, you know, the, the whole run with, with Tom Brady. The, the fan base, I think, is one of the most underrated, one of the nicest fan bases, especially on YouTube. I think that I love a lot of their players. You know, Chris Godwin, Mike Evans, Levante David, Antoine Winfield, Vita Vea, Tristan Wirfs, the, the list goes on. I love a lot of their players, and that's because they were a part of that team. Uh, so that team will always have a special place in my heart. Um, I also really like Baker Mayfield and kind of this new incarnation of the Bucks as well. So I would say I love you for the Bucks. The Detroit Lions, uh, I've always really liked the Lions. Um, I think that's because they've always been sort of a franchise that's not been very good, but they've always had really awesome players. And they've never really been able to find their way to success, but now they're finally finding that way to success. Uh, my my dad's best friend, John, is a Lion, huge Lions fan, so it's like 1970. And I think his influence has always had a little bit of an impact on me growing up. So I've always kind of kept a close eye on the Lions. I loved Stafford. I loved Megatron, you know, Barry Sanders before that, watching his highlights growing up. Um, you know, I tried to support them during the Patricia era that didn't go very well. The Dan Campbell stuff was kind of weird at first, but I honestly really like it. I love their play calling. I love their team right now. I think they've got a great roster. Their fan base is one of the nicest in, you know, the community on YouTube. They're actually like very, very passionate. They're, they're very biased sometimes, but very, very passionate, um, I would say for the Lions, I, I think they're like very close to I love you, honestly. Like they, the, the Lions fan base has meant a lot to me on YouTube. So I, I would probably say I love you to the Lions. Uh, the Chicago Bears. Mm, obviously, we got Nicholas Gill. Shout out to Nicholas Gill. He's really the Bears fan that comes to mind with me. Um, the Bears, I've never, I've always liked the Bears in terms of the history of the team, the 85 Bears, the mystique of the defense, you know, that, I think the whole correlation there for me was growing up and seeing the 2005 Bears, which also kind of correlated to my dad watching the 85 Bears and that whole kind of crossover, you know, with the, the Mike Singletary to the Brian Urlacher era, you know, seeing players like Matt Forte and the fun fantasy era of Brandon Marshall and Alshon Jeffrey and Jay Cutler, that was a lot of fun. But their teams have never been great. Uh, I've always liked it when the Bears have been good, though. Uh, this, right now, Caleb Williams, I'm not a huge Caleb guy. I don't really dislike him either. I don't love any of their coaches very much. I do like quite a bit of their players. I, I, I'm a pretty big fan of Rome Adunze as a person. I, I like DJ Moore a lot. I always have. I, I like some of their defenders on their team. Uh, Jalen Johnson and, and Jaquan Brisker come to mind. I would say that the Bears, they're like, they're weird. I think they're borderline crush, but they're like kind of like still friend zone. They got to do a little bit more, maybe like, heating me up a little bit more to get me going to the crush stage, but they're, they're friend zoned right now. Um, the 49ers, I think you guys kind of know where this, is, this one's going to go. That's, that's an, I love you 49ers. Shout out to Becca, by the way, and Lenny. Um, I have some of the, the best, you know, friends from the channel and Be Becca, Lenny that I've met and they're Niners fans. So that's a huge factor. I think the Niners have become my second team on the channel for like the last two or three years. So obviously they're like last year, last season, they kind of like took over the bucks for me where I was like emotionally attached to the, the games that they played. Like I was actually like emotionally damaged when they lost the Super Bowl. I'm, I'm not afraid to admit that. Um, and as Dirk Kant would say, I'm extremely biased towards this team in some ways. I, I just think that a lot of times their greatness and the things they've accomplished are just not being given enough credit because they haven't won the Super Bowl. But, you know, Shanahan is a phenomenal coach. I, I love the way he coaches. I love the way that, that you know, he is as a, 
just overall football mind and how he's built this team and kind of regenerated the the greatness of the Niners franchise, which is one of the greatest in football history. I I like Brock Purdy's story a lot. It, it very much gives me Brady vibes. I like Christian McCaffrey a ton. George Kittle, how could you not like him? Debo as a football player, how could you not like him? Brandon Ayuk's kind of annoying me right now, but Trent Williams, uh, you know, <laughs> awesome player. Defensively, uh, Fred Warner seems like a very good person. I, I've always liked Charvarius Ward as a as a player. Nick Boza is a great player. Um, yeah, I, I love the Niners team. I love the Niners coach. I love the Niners uh, th- going to the game last year. That was a lot of fun. So the the YouTube, you know, the Kyle Shanahan videos I've made. Uh, yeah, means a lot to me. So I would say I love you to the Niners. The Philadelphia Eagles is an interesting one because I, I find that at times with the Eagles, I've been very, very much pumping them. I think two years ago, I was when they went to the Super Bowl, I was very heavy on the on the Eagles, and I was proven right. So I always like teams where I'm proven right about them. That that definitely helps. The the I remember the 2017 or 18 season. I was really a fan of them. I really liked when Doug Peterson was their coach. There was like an underdog thing about them. Uh, despite, you know, if anyone remembers AC all up being in my grill about them beating the Patriots in the Super Bowl, that was an awful moment in BLV history. But uh, besides that, I've, I've liked the Eagles. I, you know, I was cheering for them to beat the Chiefs in the Super Bowl. Obviously, that didn't happen. Kind of annoyed me. Um... I would say that the Eagles right now, I just think like their fans are, their fans are very passionate. I love Big Al. Shout out to Big Al. He's one of the best, but man, the Eagles are tough. I, I would say that we're probably friends right now. I, I don't really feel any sort of way about the Eagles. I just think I kind of give my take about them. I just, what I say about the Eagles is honestly kind of what I feel about the Eagles. I, I don't really ever give so, some sort of spin in a, in a negative or a positive fashion. So Eagles fans just know that I'm honestly giving you my real take about the team. I'm not biased in any way, shape, or form about the Eagles. Uh, the Raiders... I would say I'm I love the Raiders. I, I I don't know what it is. I love the I love the Raiders. Um it's just the Raiders. I just I don't know. I I I you know it to to be honest, I almost pick the Raiders as my favorite team. Uh because you know how I mentioned Madden 05 in this video already. Madden 04 was the first Madden game I played. And I think the first team you could pick on the on the game is the Raiders. And I, I used to play with Rich Gannon and the Raiders. Um, I almost, I don't know if it's the logo, if it's the colors, the look, but it was very badass. So I nearly was a Raiders fan. That That's actually a fun fact. But, you know, I just love the mystique of the Raiders. I love the history of the Raiders. I love Al Davis. Um, I love the music, the autumn wind. Uh, I, I love the toughness. I love what the Raiders represent. That's what I, that's why I love the Raiders. So I, I would say I love the Raiders. I can be biased about the Raiders. I would, I would say that at times I am biased about the Raiders just cause I want to see them do well. And that's what I would say about these four teams is like, honestly, like at times I can be biased about them. I'd say the lions, the least amount. So right now. Um, but over, over the years, yes, like these teams, I've gotten love in the way of maybe truth. Um, I try not to, but that's just the way it goes. Sometimes the green Bay Packers, I would say, I I would say I have a crush on the Packers. I think their hype is getting like a little bit too much for me to the point where it's becoming almost mainstream. And that's kind of like derailing my love for this team. I would say my love for this team was peak during the Christian Watson video. Um, And if Christian Watson does eventually break out, they will probably become the I love you stage once again. If the Packers won the Super Bowl, I'd absolutely not mind it whatsoever. Uh, I like Jordan Love quite a bit. I've come to like Matt LaFleur despite, you know, his abundance of haircuts. Um, the defense have an- has annoyed me over the years. I like a lot of their players. I, I like the Packers, the history, Lombardi, Rodgers, Favre, all the eras. They've always seemingly been a good team growing up. So uh, the pa- I think I've also hated the Packers at times, though. Like, I, 
I, I have put them here at times in terms of like during the like Aaron Rodgers peak like propaganda stage where like people thought he was better than Brady, which was like, I mean, can we at least win a couple Super Bowls first? You know what I mean? So there's been a little bit of the, like, why is this guy being built up in this way? Um, but I, I understand. I just, it's just kind of, it was irritating from a Brady fan perspective. But I, for now, I really like them right now. Uh, the Washington Commanders, um, I don't hate them. I don't love them. I don't really feel any way, shape, or form about them. I I am not annoyed. I, I would have to say I'm friend zone with the commanders. I've liked the commanders probably more than I dislike the commanders. I liked the commanders kind of weirdly before I knew that Shanahan and, and McVay were like genius coaches. I liked that era of the com commanders a lot. I think it was just because they were well coached. And that's that's really what it was. Like the Kirk Cousins rg3 era i was a fan of the commanders um you know growing up they they had some great players like santana moss sean taylor um london fletcher comes to mind i liked a lot of their players clinton portis um for a couple of years growing up but they never they've never been a great team so it's kind of hard to love or hate that honestly um the arizona cardinals Mm. the Cardinals. so for some reason i've had like back and forths with cardinals fans where i don't like them very much but you know that's not that's not a huge thing for me i i would say they're probably friend zone as well like shout out to liam he always he always he always leaves a cardinals comment um i i would say with the cardinals that i I like, but I don't love Kyler Murray. He's fun to watch, but I also think he can be a, at times a bit overrated. I mean, I'm really intrigued to watch the offense this year. I like aspects of that. I feel no way, shape, or form any any difference with the coaching staff. I don't really like them or hate them. The defense, I I don't like just because they suck. Like I, I I really have no bias in that in that assessment. I just think they're not good. Um, so I guess that makes me not like them, but I feel like friend friend zone that they, they don't, they're not a good enough roster or team where I'm like, have a crush on them, but I also like things about them. So that's kind of where I stand with the Cardinals, the Steelers, mm, the Steelers, I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't, I honestly could not say if I've ever hated the Steelers. I think part of that is because I've, I've grown up a bit of a Penguins fan as well. So I've always seen a lot of Steeler Penguin crossover um, with with hockey to football. My friend Mike is a Steelers fan, and I was kind of responsible for that, by the way, uh, because I nicknamed him the bus in, in elementary school. So that was kind of my fault. But I would say with the Steelers, I honestly, right now, I kind of like have a crush on the Steelers a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I kind of, I kind of want to see a renaissance from Russ. I kind of want to see Arthur Smith shove everybody's like shit up their b holes. You know what I mean? Um, I kind of want to see their defense like just dominate in a Steeler retro fashion. I like T.J. Watt. I think he's a stud. Um. Grown to like Minka a lot. I, I think that they're, Cam Hayward is a very respectable human being. The young offensive line is very fun. Jalen Warren's a fun player. George Pickens a fun player. I like a lot of their players right now. I kind of like the vibe. Mike Tomlin, very respectable human and coach. So, yeah. The Steelers I used to not like because they used to be that team that the, that the Patriots would have to beat. But they were like the little, bro like the annoying little brother to the Patriots, where I never really hated them, but they were like there, like you had to kind of like stiff arm them, you know what I mean? Like go away, like get out, get out of here, like you're not good enough, like just leave. Um, so that was kind of the way I used to feel about them. The Bills, um, honestly, I, this is weird to say, I I think the Bills are kind of like an I love you team, um, but. They're, they're somewhere in between the crush and the I love you. Um, 
it is weird to say this, but you know what? I, I think they're probably a crush. And the reason is because I, from afar, I really like them. As a Patriots fan, I love Josh Allen. He's my favorite player in the league, probably. Um, I like I like this era of Bills football. It's been a lot of fun to watch. It's been a lot of fun to talk about. And they have a lot of fun games to watch. But at the same time, they have a lot of frustrating moments. Like, they, they're, they've been very close, but they just have not been able to kind of, like, push through. And that's been very annoying to me. Um, and you'll understand a little bit more a little bit later with the Bills. But to me, like, that's why I can't quite say I love you to them because they've just disappointed me. When I've wanted them to actually win, they just disappoint. So that's why I have them in the crush category instead of the I love you. The Falcons, honestly, bro, like, they're kind of, like, annoying right now. I'm not going to lie. I like Bijan a lot. I, I, he, I mean, how could you not? I like Daddy Kirk Cousins. Uh... <laughs> I like Kyle Pitts. Um, the defense sucks. I I I'm intrigued by the Falcons team. I obviously shout out to Ultra. Shout shout out to Wave God. I, I like those guys. No 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 problems with them. Um, and I honestly want to see Ultra cheer for the NFL team instead of just the Georgia Bulldogs all the time. But like, I I don't like their GM. I know that's a weird reason to not like their team, but he's so arrogant. I can't, I, I hate him. I don't like him at all. So it's like one aspect of the team that I, I just think there's an arrogance when it comes to the Falcons that's not earned. Like it makes no sense. So that's why I have them in the annoying category. The Seattle Seahawks. Um, Right now I have a bit of a crush on them. Uh, I like the Seahawks. I like Geno. I, lo I like Mike McDonald as a coach. Not really as like, I liked Pete Carroll as like a person, but I like Mike McDonald as a coach. Um, I love DK. Lockett's fun. Uh, Noah Fan I've always liked. Uh, D <sighs> Kenneth Walker, love that player. They have a lot of players that I'd love to have on the Patriots. That's the way I would categorize them. But also at the same time, you know, Witherspoon is another one that I'd love to have on the Patriots. Leonard Williams, I've always really liked. Um, but at the same time, they are the team that's closest in vicinity to Vancouver. So I also at times see too much crossover with their fan base, which is where they become annoying. So I can't quite love them. But at the same time, because they just there's too many fans of them around here. It's kind of like weird that way, but... Yeah, I do have a crush on their team currently. The Cleveland Browns. Um. Hmm. I think the Cleveland. I, I'm just. I think I'm just friends with Cleveland right now. I don't. Honestly, like I had to get over the whole Deshaun Watson being their quarterback. But you know, when Joe Flacco was their quarterback, I I think I had the Browns like in the the crush category for sure because that was so much fun to watch. And even when they had Jacoby Brissett, you know, I like Jacoby. He's a great guy. Um, so I, I would have had, you know, the last couple of years, honestly, I've had the Browns here. But I think right now I have them here. I just feel like they kind of like are what they are right now. I don't really feel like they're ever going to reach their ceiling of what they could have been. I like their defense a lot. I, I think they've got a lot of good football players, but none of them that I really like truly admire. I don't have anyone on their team that I'm like super excited about. I think the offense, like in Joku, I've always been a huge fan of for some reason. Uh, Amari Cooper, I like. Um, I like Nick Chubb. So maybe I'm a little bit bigger fan of the offensive players, but yeah, I don't really have like a huge push either way towards the the Browns. The Houston Texans. This is interesting because like I think that the Texans are that team where like th we're like a young love. Like I've just recently fallen in love with the Texans. The CJ Stroud buzz and me hyping him up and CJ Stroud being my guy in the draft over Bryce Young and making a video about that them having Nick Casario, former Patriot GM, is the guy that's built this team, 
D'Amico Ryan's a player I used to really like watching. The Texans is a team that I used to think was a lot of fun. Like, honestly, guys, I used to make, like, you know the NFL head coach game in 2009? It used to always be the Texans, bro. There's something about the Texans in that era of, like, they were kind of good, but you could kind of, like, see their potential, but they didn't quite get there. The J.J. Watt era, Andre Johnson, Arian Foster, um, a lot of players I really enjoyed. Um, but where do I put them? I, I think young love is a good categorization for them. So they're kind of like not longevity yet, but they're really getting there. If they do something this year, the way that I've been talking about them, I kind of got to back it up with an I love you statement. So I've got to put them in that category. The Kansas City Chiefs. I think you guys know where I'm going with this one. Go away. <laughs> yeah, I told you I'd be honest. Go away, Chiefs. Ben, I love you, but no, I, I don't like the I don't like the Chiefs, bro. Nobody no everybody knows I don't like the Chiefs. Um, but it also makes for great content. So at times I kind of do love the Chiefs because they, they provide me with a lot of my best rants. Um and my best content is just me hating on the Chiefs. So in some ways I do kind of love to hate them. But that's that's the whole gimmick, right? So I've got to put a team in the go away category. So I would really like Taylor Swift to go away. I'd really like Travis Kelsey to go away. I'd really like Patrick Mahomes and his Kermit the Frog voice to go away. I'd really like Andy Reid to eat his last cheeseburger. Um, just go away, please. Uh, the Dallas Cowboys. Now, this is obviously my dad's favorite team. I've been to Cowboys games. I've been to their stadium a couple times. I've always loved the look, the feel, the uh, the pageantry of the Cowboys, the the iconic nature of the Cowboys. I loved the the Tony Romo, Terrell Owens, Des Bryant era of the Cowboys. This recent era of the Cowboys, I don't love quite as much. Uh, I don't know. There was something about Tony Romo and the way he played. It was just very fun. And I, I don't know what it was like Sunday night football against Eli Manning or Donovan McNabb. That was a fun era for me to watch the Cowboys, DeMarcus Ware. But to me, like, I, I'd probably say with the Cowboys, they're like friend zoned right now. Like, I don't love their team at the current moment. I did last year and they probably were like here uh, in the crush category before. But right now, they're probably just a friend zone. Like, I'm kind of like, you know, they're the Cowboys. Like, I like things about them. But also, like, Jerry, what are you doing, dude? Like, Dak, can we, like, win a playoff game? Like, they're kind of annoying. Uh, my dad hates on his own team a lot. So it is what it is. But they're they're in the friend zone. The Chargers. <laughs> I've always loved the Chargers. Um, you know, from LaDainian Tomlinson and Drew Brees and Antonio Gates to Phil Rivers. Uh Keenan Allen and, you know, Austin Eckler, um, Justin Herbert, the logo, the colors, the city of San Diego. I've always loved San Diego. I've been there like five times. Um, I would say, though, for the Chargers, they're one of those teams that I've soured on as of late because I think for some reason this, this year they're being overhyped because of Jim Harbaugh. But I want to see them do well. And I always will have a soft spot for them. So I will put them in the crush category. Uh, the New York Jets. They're weird. So I like the Jets in certain moments. But I also think the Jets just suck a lot. Throughout my entire life, they have sucked a lot. And actually, when they were good, they would make me really angry. But like in like a, you know what, I really respect you type of way. Kind of like the Ravens. Where I was like, you know, I kind of hate you. Like, why are you beating me? Why are you beating the Patriots? But I also kind of like, I kind of respect it, you know? And so that turned into love um, for a lot of the teams. But the Jets um, right now, obviously I've been pushing an agenda with the Jets. But, and, and I would love to see Aaron Rodgers stick it to a lot of people. But I also kind of like hate them at the same time. I don't know what it is. Like it's weird with them. So I would say the Jets, like I kind of have a crush on you, but it's like a, it's like a really toxic crush. I don't, I don't know how to say I'm supposed to not like the Jets, but I can't like not like them right now. So 
Uh, I have them in the toxic crush category. The Carolina Panthers, I, I don't know how you could hate the Carolina Panthers. My, my friend Brett is a Panthers fan, and he has been for a while. I've, I've explained this. So I can't hate the Panthers. I, I loved the Panthers with Cam Newton. Um, Bryce Young, I am not a fan of. So that definitely, them picking, if they would have picked CJ Stroud, I guarantee you they would be here. Like they would be, I love you. But because they picked Bryce Young, that definitely soured me on them. I am kind of annoyed by them at some in some instances, but I don't think I could quite go that far. So I'd, I'd have to put them in the, friend zone category which you currently can't really see their logo but just understand that the carolina panthers are there actually you know what could i maybe make this make my thing a little bit smaller so you guys could see it there you go so that will be hopefully the last friend zone for me maybe but we'll see i might have to adjust this once again um the tennessee titans i i like their team I loved Mike Vrabel. I loved that era of Titan football in terms of they were a team that I would always underestimate, but they would always do better than I expected. So I respect that. I also would say that their fan base is very, very kind of like, what's the word? Um, I, well, not lost, but they're like, I think they're a little biased. They're very biased. I would say that about Titans fans. You guys are very biased about your team. Um, but it's almost in like a nobody talks about us type of way. So I also kind of respect it. I would say with the Titans, I kind of like this team. I, I kind of do. I, I like uh, overall just I like the city of of Nashville. I like the vibe. I like the new era of Will Levis. I like the, the receivers. I like the corners. I like Jeff Simmons. I like Harold Landry, BC boy. I like like kind of the vibe of them right now. They, they feel like a fun up-and-coming team. So I, I do think I have a crush on them. The Indianapolis Colts? Um, I would say... That's tough. Uh, the Colts are always annoying. Because, let me explain. First of all, I hated the Colts for about like 12 years of my life. Okay, so I can't really say that I I would quite put them in the friend zone. Um, they were the number one rival of the Patriots for years. Despite us whooping their candy ass time after time. But, the GM, Chris Ballard, is annoying. The, the owner... Like, hates the Patriots, so I can't really support his team. The, like, Anthony Richardson is fun. Shane Steichen I really like and respect. But otherwise, you know, I like JT. I like Michael Pittman. These are guys that I've been picking in fantasy drafts this offseason quite a bit, so I will say that. But I also just, I just don't like, I think, the, like, the ownership, the general manager the logo gives me bad vibes from past. So I'd put them in the annoying category. I don't quite have them go away anymore. Jacksonville. I would say Jacksonville's in the friend zone and I'll have to make this a little bit smaller again. Let's see. Let's just put them here so you guys can see it. Um, but yeah, the Jacksonville is in the friend zone. I like certain things about them. Doug Peterson. I like Brian Thomas Jr. and that draft pick. I, I've always liked Travis Etienne. I think the team has been, you know, a bit... People are misinformed about the team from last year, so I kind of try to defend them in some ways. I like the defense, the, the new defensive coordinator and what they're going to be this year. So, And I, I really like the 2017 Jaguars. Um, I like saying Jaguars with a W. So, yeah, I, I would say friend zone for the Jags. I, I don't really feel like I hate them or love them either. So that's kind of the, the list, guys. Hope you guys understand where I'm at with your team. And hopefully everything I said makes some sense. <laughs> Probably doesn't, but hopefully it does. So thank you guys for watching. It's Mitch for another tier list. And if you want to provide ideas, let me know in the comment section below. And Gronk Spike the like button. We'll see you soon. Peace.